Okay, so I just wanted to show off um, how you can use um, essentially a SDR play or another um, USB receiver as a pan adapter and or second receiver for the Kenwood TS590SG. So um, in this case, I'm using the SDR play. I'm just going to hold it up to the camera. SDR play there. That's the SDR play. And you've got the software on the screen on my monitor there. Now, it is a little hard to see because I'm trying to show off the Kenwood uh, 590 SG. Um, but at the moment, I've got the audio coming out from the 590 SG. So I'll just turn it up a little bit and hopefully you can hear some of that. I'm just playing around with the RF gain there a bit and you can see how by reducing the RF gain you can make the signal more pleasant to listen to. Anyway, the other thing I wanted to demonstrate is that you can also use the SDR play as your receiver. So I'll actually just unmute it here and hopefully you can hear this. Now bear in mind they're using different filters. Um, I completely prefer at this stage the sound of the 590 SG, but it is nice to know that you can daisy chain a second um, radio, a second receiver, or even a second transceiver off the Kenwood 590 SG. It's got a dedicated port um, built into it, and from what I can ascertain, it's uh, quite similar to the mini circuits uh, splitter that I've used for um, splitting, well, this is hard to see in the video, but used for splitting um, antennas before for um, reviews and that sort of thing. So it's nice that Kenwood's built that in there and it, that's something I'd hoped ICOM had, would have built into the 7610, uh, but they hadn't. Um, but uh, anyway, the, basically to, to get that functionality, um, you need to go into the menu, you need to go to option 85 and have, it'll scroll over here and it'll say DRV connector function and you need to have ant selected rather than drive. That's drive, that's ant. And then to make it operational you simply um, hold down this button here and when it's operational, you'll see a star in the corner there. So if I turn it off, you'll see in on the waterfall there that there's no longer any signal coming through. Um, so I'll turn it back on. So yeah, that's a, a nice way you can hook up a second receiver um, and a pan adapter to a TS590. Now the SDR Play Guys do actually have a a video on how to um, sync the um, VFO knob on this with the SDR Play software so that when you scroll around here it um, automatically scrolls around um, or tunes the SDR Play software. Um, they use a little thing called OmniRig to connect that up um, and that, that's pretty cool too. So if you want to have um, it fully linked rather than using it as a separate receiver um, you want to use it just purely as a pan adapter. Very, very easy to do. Um, they've got a 10 minute video showing you how to do that, so I won't bother. 
But um, yeah, very, very interesting and a very good feature of the 590SG. So um, for those of you who you know may, may think less of this radio because it doesn't have a, um, a spectrum scope and you know band scope and uh, waterfall built into it, it's not necessarily something to worry about. Um, an SDR play is only a couple of hundred dollars and you know, you can uh, make your spectrum soak as big as you want. You know, you can zoom right into the signal you're looking at. Um, so there's a lot of flexibility in, uh, in using that drive connector to run an SDR player or a second receiver. So um, in that regards, uh, yeah, I do like, do like that feature of the Kenwood. The downside is, of course, um, if you're going to go with a computer-based SDR, um, then or, or pan adapter, then you do need the computer um, there to to make it work. That's the nice thing about the 7300, is that um, you turn it on and you've got a really good um, waterfall and band scope just right there in front of you. So, yeah. Anyway, that covers up that that sums up that feature.